Hello, Leroy Ball here with a message to all Coppers team members around the world as 2023 comes to a close. It's been an exciting year for our organization, filled with many positive milestones worth celebrating. I thought that as we take a look back at the year, we could review our achievements as they relate to our guiding values of people, planet, and performance. All three areas saw impressive progress, so let's get started, as always, with people. Naturally, any discussion of people at Coppers begins with Zero Harm. Earlier this year, we introduced Zero Harm 2.0 to help re-energize and re-engage employees around our goal of zero and drive more direct responsibility for our safety culture closer to the front lines. The heart of Zero Harm rests in making safety awareness and behaviors a personal commitment for ourselves, our fellow team members, and by extension, the people who depend on us. Zero means we can keep doing the things we love with the people we care about most. Zero means everything. Two examples of employees embodying that commitment this year included our Ashcroft British Columbia team who earned the annual Zero Harm President's Award and Texas-based professional driver Bill Bailey of Recovery Resources who earned top honors for safety and skill in the 2023 truck driving competition. Another key element of how we live out our value of people comes in making sure we are investing in opportunities for career development and growth. This year, Coppers College continued to gain momentum in celebrating 88 total graduates. In March 2023, we held our Global Leadership Conference for the first time since 2018. We were thrilled to host more than 140 leaders from across the company to focus on leadership skill building. I also issued a challenge to contribute new ideas to sustain our organizational success in the areas of people, planet, and performance. More on how some of those fresh perspectives are driving results shortly. On the community front, we restarted our community advisory panels in Millington, Somerville, and Stickney to help strengthen our ties with our facility neighbors. Additionally, we debuted the Coppers Cares app to track the fantastic community work you are all doing. And I'm proud to report that employees have logged more than 2,000 volunteer hours giving back through charity events, food pantries, annual fundraising causes, community cleanups, and much more. And to encourage a little well-deserved fun amongst all the hard work, we held our first ever International Golf Challenge with the Fairway Ninjas from Galesburg, Illinois taking top honors and bragging rights. We place people first in all that we do, and in 2023, we again saw why that approach is the foundation of our success. Now let's take a look at the progress we've made when it comes to taking care of our planet. Incorporating more solar projects to increase our renewable energy consumption, processing water more responsibly, continuing to pursue our circular strategy to manage the full life cycle of our products, and making progress toward our goal of 50% reduction in greenhouse gases by 2030 are just a few of the many ways we are reducing our environmental impact. 2023 also saw us publish our first ever Task Force on Climate-Related Financial Disclosures, or TCFD report, an industry standard designed to improve reporting of climate-related financial information. In addition, our sustainability achievements generated some notable improvements in external ratings and rankings. Coppers moved up the charts of two third-party sustainability raters, MSCI and Ecovadis and Coppers Australia achieved silver status recognition in the Sustainability Advantage Program run by the New South Wales Environment Protection Authority. As we continue to look to each and every employee to be a steward of our environment, employees across the globe participated in the Preserving the Earth campaign to mark celebrations of Earth Day and World Environment Day by hosting waterfront cleanups, trash pickups, tree plantings, and more. Thanks in large part to our sustainability performance, Coppers was once again named to Newsweek's list of most responsible companies and to USA Today's first ever list of America's climate leaders, which takes us to our achievements and performance. As I stand here filming this message, Coppers remains on track to exceed our target of $250 million in profitability, and we're well on our way to achieving our 2025 goal of $300 million as part of our expand and optimize strategic plan. My thanks to each and every one of you for your role in our ongoing success. We were proud to host a very successful Investor Day in Chicago this September, where we connected with the investment community about our strategic plan, as well as our compelling story about why Coppers is a solid investment. Throughout the year, our business segments have continued to deliver strong results. Our ability to serve diverse infrastructure markets through our vertically integrated business model remains key to our continued success. 
Performance Chemicals will finish this year with record results due to passing on inflationary costs to our customer base, winning new business in the industrial market with a mix of traditional and new products, and a resilient repair and remodeling market that has remained strong in the face of multiple headwinds. Utility and industrial products continue to see strong market demand for its treated utility poles, so much so that it is tracking to double profitability from 2022 and for the second year in a row achieve its best year since joining Coppers. Railroad products and services will finish this year slightly better than last and be in position for an even better 2024. We have shown our commitment to the railroad industry through our significant investments over the past five years and we'll continue to push for acknowledgement of that from our largest customers. I'm proud of the work our RPS team has done under difficult circumstances and will continue to fight for them in the marketplace to make sure Coppers receives what it has earned. Carbon Materials and Chemicals managed through a tough year quite well, and actually Australia hit a new record in profitability. They head into 2024 well positioned to manage through a challenging period that comes with the volatile nature of the business and has exciting things on the horizon with our enhanced carbon products. While our global team was busy executing on the day-to-day -to, -day to ensure success in 2023, they've also been supported in laying the groundwork for what will be an even brighter future. In September, we completed our new state-of-the-art treating facility at our North Little Rock, Arkansas plant, the largest of its kind. In October, we began commissioning our new enhanced carbon products facility in Newborg, Denmark, which will change the way we think about our product mix moving forward. Throughout the year, we also made considerable progress on a new peeling and drying facility in Leesville, Louisiana, a new kiln in Leland, North Carolina, a new micronizing mill in Rock Hill, South Carolina, and early in the year, we purchased property in Glendale, Oregon to begin expanding our UIP business into new geographic markets. That's a lot of work. Around $120 million of it spent in 2023 alone, all with designs on the future. In addition to expanding our business, innovation is fed into our performance model in a major way in 2023. We launched EPIC, our expanded corporate innovation program with a number of new initiatives from university partnerships to tech talks to site-based idea summits with much more planned for the future to help ensure that we are welcoming fresh perspectives that will keep coppers at the forefront. With performance results like these, our company's potential for continued growth and success has never looked better. On my own behalf and that of the entire leadership team, I thank you for your commitment to zero harm, to operating sustainably, to providing fresh ideas and challenging the norms, and to always giving your best effort. This has provided the foundation for all of the wonderful achievements in 2023 and sets the stage for many successful years to come. Here's wishing you and your families a safe, happy, restful, and joyous holiday season and a very happy new year.